What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Game, and welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back some more Monster Hunter Rise, and today I'm gonna show you guys my two new builds, and these builds are gonna extend the previous build I put up for my five star, six star, seven star build. But disclaimer: in order to make these builds possible, we need some god tier talismans. My fan, without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so to start, I'm gonna show you guys what the build's gonna do first. Mm. Nasty damage. So let's go ahead and sharpen back up and see what it hits at maximum. So these are one or two. So the first one looks a little something like that. 169, that's 1202 damage. And one thing that's very particular in this game is it, it's all just math. Like, regardless of how many times I try to do this combo, it'll always do the same damage. As long as you're hitting the same spot in the monster's body part. So I think I have enough sharpness to withstand this one, so. Um, look at that, they all crit, like that one was, 169 damage, so not bad at all. So now let's go ahead and break down the sets. So this set, this is what we got rocking so far. We have attack boost level five, crit boost level three, weakness exploit level three, quick sheet level three, latent power and speed sharpen level two. That one can go to level three if I wanted to, but I gotta farm some more rap to levels. So I took a break from that one. Maximum might and free meal because I had extra decorations. There aren't that many good one star decorations in the game. That's why I have speed sharpening and free meal because essentially those are the best of what's available. So in order to make this set work, you need a couple of pieces. One, this and this set has like a 90% affinity and if you have, if latent power activates, 100% affinity. So in order to make this happen, I use the deepest knight because I love this weapon because that's white sharpness and 40% affinity, so good, good damage. The next piece I'm going to be using is going to be the Zenogre head because Zenogre's head gives me weakness exploit. Then next I'm going to be using Quick Sheet because with Quick Sheet I have maximum my Quick Sheet is literally the most best skill you're going to use if you use Longsword. But Quick Sheet I have attacked you on this one as well. I'll show in decoration in a second. I like this piece because it gives you two levels of attack. And this one is a no brainer because it gives you two levels of weakness exploit and two levels of critical boost. So now you're wondering, DG, where are you getting all the extra quick sheet and critical boost? This bad boy right here. So this one is my one of my first got here talisman I got. And this one could be better if I got some slots with it, but you know what? It's fine, I'm not gonna be greedy. I got, it has quick sheet level two and crit boost on it, which allows me to maximize my damage and maximize my skill. And right now in the game, there is no crit boost decoration or weakness exploit decoration. So I can't do that much. Switch it around to get attack boost seven with everything here. My only option is to get super lucky and get an even better talisman than this one. And that's what we're grinding for. I've seen some cool things out there on the internet. So I know it's possible. We just got to try our luck. So as far as decoration, what I got, I have attack boost level two on the weapon. Free meal here. Attack boost, so a grinder jewel for speed sharpening. Uh, attack another attack boost, no slotters here. And I could put another speed sharpening here and maybe another free meal to just why not make my set a little bit more comfy because this set is like a glass cannon. You're going to do a lot of damage, but also too, if you get hit, you might take a couple to the chin. So I'm going to avoid that. And lastly, I got the crit boost on here. So the big and the rarest thing in here is farming for the materials for the monster is not too difficult. But what makes it a little bit difficult is definitely getting a talisman needed. But as you can see, the damage is just nice. Because that's absolutely beautiful. So what my focus is whenever I make these builds is always going to be DPS. Oh, this one looks really good. So the next set I'm about to show you is even stronger than this one. And that one... You had to call on RNGs again. So let me do a helm splitter one more time so you guys can see the damage. Actually, I do the, I do it from back here so you can see the damage if you don't hit the weak spot. So that's what it, that's what it looked like if you're not hitting that those crispy weak spots. But if you get a perfect hit on the head, boom, 169 every single time. All right, let me show you the next set. So here's the next set. This one does 170. So essentially, all the changes I made is essentially two very, very strong builds 
The only thing you need to make sure you have is the right tiles to make the damage possible. Boom, 170. And typically all of them are hit. So this one's still rocking the same 90% affinity. But it looks like some of the hits are hitting the body. And that's why it's not connecting. All right, here we go. 170 each one. Beautiful. So essentially this one does 1,209 damage total. So the other one does, does seven damage less. So now what do we need to make this set possible? For this one, for this one, going to rock on the Deepest Knight again. The difference is going to change the headpiece here. And this one looks something like this. Attack boost level 7. Weakness exploit. Quick sheet. Critical boost level 2. Be sharper 2 again. And latent power number 2. Offense and guard like just comes on one of our pieces. But we, don't, we don't need it on the longsword. On these pieces, the reason I went with this headpiece instead was because this one gives you attack boost level 1. But also it has a 2 slot jewel for the decorations. And right now in Rise, there aren't too many pieces with like good slottage, but as far as level two or three. So that's why I, this was the first best combination in order for me to max out my attack with the talisman I got to get the most damage. Again, we're using the Snogger chest piece because it gives you weakness exploit. Wrath also gives you two level of attack plus a decoration. This one, two level weakness exploit. Rajan boots will never come off because it gives you two level crit boost. And this. Talisman gives you three levels of quick sheet. That's second scale and a level three dot slot. So this one is like absolutely beautiful. As far as my decorations, I got attack boost on it again. Attack boost grinder. Attack boost and something like that. So we had there's a couple of slots. For example, this one has no slotage on it. A lot of level one slots on a lot of our gear. So that's why we can't like max out attack essentially. But these are the skills you need. This one does really, really, really good damage. I've been using these for the last couple of days now. But for me, I'm going to make an updated build once we get some even more amazing talisman. Right now, that's what we're currently rocking. But what would this be if we didn't have a demonstration on the monster so we can see what this really does look like? Let's go ahead and hit this last one. So it's interesting. The set with two levels of critical boost this is slightly weaker. But if we could somehow get critical boost and the actual two levels of attack, you already know that one's gonna be way stronger. We have to wait and see what monsters come out in the future and see like what, how we can combine into our sets. But what kind of run would this be if I didn't demonstrate this on the monster? So my family, go ahead and check out a monster without further ado. Let's dive in. All right, right time. Oh. Right, the wing has a hit weak spot. Woo. That's one you gotta keep your eyes on because of the fact that he's really, really fast, so he's always trying to change the camera. Beautiful. Oh. And I chose Rat because he was like so much stronger in this game. <laughs> I was like, I watch out for stuff like this happening. Nice, we'll keep playing tag with him. Woo, we'll take this one. Thank you, sir. Oh, there it is. We have a lot of time left, so moving around, get him in there, finish this, another one. Now we do it. 
That's how you maximize the damage. Thing where you have a lot of damage is you keep them in a stunned state like that a lot. That was just for show. Get out of here. All right, let's follow him again. Beautiful again. Perfect. Perfect. Woo, that damage. Watch it. That perfect combination right there. So right when he's done. Yeah, nice little hit on him as well. Over here, over here. One more, one more, one more. There it is. Missing damage. Ah. Mm. Nice. The shell. Let him catch you. I got again. He's about to leave. I don't hurry up. Take it. Get out of here. Whew, let's go, baby. That's how you get throw down Rathalos. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'll get the piece I need to get my other bead sharpening. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Not looking like it. One more attempt. All right, let's see what we get after rewards. Right, let's see what we get. You know, I do a bonus. I see what I get from my talismans as well. Woo! Let's go, baby. I can finish my set finally. Oh, seven minutes? Not bad. We can do it faster if we got him. If we didn't get him to leave on the first round. Okay. Let's see. It's B sharpening blast paralysis attack. Ugh. Nothing good. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. New channel, subscribe, like, and give a thumbs up. Till next time, dear camera, signing out.